so you get a 1A, you come back to the States. What happened that pushed you to start Unshackled.club? And you mentioned hundreds of emails. So yeah. how do you translate that into, oh, let me start a community? Because I want to say you're a writer at heart and that's where Absolutely. your passion lies, right? So why go the Unshackled.club route? Um, okay, so it wasn't af- after I got the O1. That, that's not entirely accurate because when we did the crowdfunding campaign, one of the tiers on Kickstarter Got was it. a lifetime membership to the community. Got it. So even then I had an idea that I would create some community. Got it. I've built communities since I was young in different ways. In undergrad, I started a, a social club at NIT Tucci. I have started several Slack workspaces for different purposes over the years. My admitted book had a community. So it wasn't new for me. Um, the mechanics of what benefits to offer was an ever-changing process. Even today, we keep thinking about what else can we do. So I had to look up a lot of other communities, like um, there is a community called Nest Labs for neuroscience enthusiasts. There is Leap.club, community of professional women in India. So I looked at other communities, well-performing ones, saw what they had, and then we thought about what benefits can we put together. And it is a membership community, not a free one. People have to pay to join and to pay to continue being a part of it. Um, because at the end of the day, I also realized now this is my full-time job. This is a business and you want it to sustain after you, after you die as well, hopefully. And that cannot happen if it's free forever. Um, technically I could keep getting grants from foundations every single year, but that doesn't seem very, it seems very precarious to me to do that. Also not a scalable or reliable. Not scalable. Um, yeah. So it was just, wasn't my cup of tea. I uh, got it once. Actually, we're in the process of getting another grant to build an AI tool side discussion. But um, yeah, that's how the community started. We launched it in August of 2023, last year. And now we have over 400 members who are a part of it. And uh, it is very focused, right? It's not like a community of, oh, just come and learn about neuroscience or there's a place for that. But ours is a very focused community on come here. Here are the resources. Here are the mentors and connections. Use this to get your talent visa in America. Specifically, an O1, EB1, or EB2 national interest waiver. Yeah. So you start Unshackled.club. Um, you start engaging with the community. Was that a smooth journey, a smooth transition? Or were there hiccups along the way? Because it's now something parallel. You've done communities, but... There's, I want to say, different stakes here than sort of Absolutely. something you started in undergrad, right? Um, hmm. I'm still figuring out the question of sales. Makes it's sense. not my cup of tea. I, I've, I think I've gotten better at it in the last year. But how do you scale and sell so that more and more members get to know about it and actually join? And obviously, after they join, how do you provide value? So that they feel like my money, I got it five times back. Yeah. And um, repeated value. Cause and repeated value. O one could be a two, three, four year process, right? So you want them to be pa- a part of the community. Actually, I'll tell you, the biggest problem I'm currently facing is hiring. Um, I'm going to be public about this in the next two weeks or a few weeks anyway, so I might as well just say it. And this will come out in three, four weeks. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm a writer at heart. You've said it twice on this podcast. I know that. And while building Unshackle.club has been a fantastic experience, I realize I'm not the best person to scale it anymore. Because my heart keeps going towards writing. And I have a project in mind that I want to work on as a third book. And so soon I'll be publishing a long post on how I'm beginning to take a step back from specifically Unshackle.club and building this company forward. And I want to focus on writing more, which is the whole reason I quit my job. So I, uh, I'm i going to make a public statement. I'm going to put it out there across all channels and f- the tens of thousands who care to follow my work. Hopefully, I'll find a few people who are interested in taking over after me because really I'm looking for someone who can come in whose passion it is to take something from 1 to 10. I've done the 0 to 1 right now. I've built something here. I don't think I'm the best person for one to n anymore. And I want someone who wants to do that. And so 
I think that's the biggest problem. Once the store ends with Unshackled, I want to just focus on that. Makes sense.